Hi guys, Archie Luxury on the Archie Luxury channel. And today I want to talk about how to grab a bargain if you are new to the watch collecting hobby. What do I recommend for newbies? Newbies are people who are new to the hobby. And the best advice I can give to anyone, whether you're in Australia, whether you're in America, Great Britain, anywhere, the best advice I can give you is develop a relationship with a trusty, a trusted, pre-owned watch dealer. And I, I think this is the most important thing. Forget eBay, forget Gumtree or Craigslist. If you are new to the hobby, there is a minefield of disasters that can go wrong. My best advice to anyone who's new in the hobby is to develop a relationship with a trusted dealer. In Melbourne, Australia, I highly recommend European Watch Gallery. That's right, European Watch Gallery, 83 Collins Street in the Melbourne CBD. Now, this is really so important. So many newbies, I'm doing consultancy phone calls. What do I think of this watch? It's on eBay or it's from a private seller. And I say, look, guys, if you are new to the hobby, develop a relationship with a pre-owned watch dealer. That is the best thing you can do because a pre-owned watch dealer Somebody like European Watch Gallery or Vintage Watch Co, they want to develop a long-term relationship with you. They don't want to flick, click and flick and burn you in one sale. They want you to buy your first watch, your second watch, maybe trade in one, buy your third, your fourth, your fifth. They want to develop a relationship with you. So I, I really say to people, I don't recommend buying new because the boutiques, the new shops, they just want to sell product. If you develop a good relationship with a reputable uh, watch dealer, they can guide and steer you in the right direction. For example, you might say to, uh, to Bruce or Shawnee at European Watch Gallery, Hey guys, I'm looking for a dress watch. I'm thinking about Patek. I'm thinking about Jager Le Coultre. What do you recommend? So you should really use the expertise of these guys here to steer you into certain models. Look out for guidance and advice from these people. And I tell you what, people like uh, Shawnee from European Watch Gallery, he's been in this game here for over 20 years. He's after long-term relationships he wants repeat business. He wants you to recommend him to his to your friends, and to your friends' friends. He, it's, it's, it's. This is what they're after. They're after the repeat punter, and you don't get that by burning clientele. So the best advice I can give anyone, if you're looking for a great deal, on whether it's your first Rolex or it's your your second or third watch. Develop a good relationship with a trustworthy vintage watch dealer. Now, some dealers I recommend. In Melbourne, Australia, I highly recommend European Watch Gallery, 83 Collins Street, Melbourne. In Brisbane, 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 that's where I'm actually from. I highly recommend, I highly recommend... Vintage Watch Co. This is in the Brisbane Arcade. And this is Ronnie. I've known Ronnie and Luke for years. I've known Ronnie since the, uh, the late 90s. 20 years. Over 20 years of friendship and watch dealing experiences. And uh, this is the best advice I can give you. Don't buy new. Buy pre-owned. But buy it from a reputable, trustworthy watch dealer. And uh, in Brisbane, I highly recommend Vintage Watch Co. Vintage Watch Co. They are good people to deal with. 
And uh, don't ever be afraid to ask guidance. Say to them, hey guys, what do you recommend as a fantastic dress watch? What do you recommend as a luxury diver? I've got X amount of dollars to spend. And uh, they will try and steer you in the right direction. These are honest business people who really want repeat customers. They want happy clients. So my best advice, anyone there who is looking for a deal, they want to buy a wristwatch, they want to get into the hobby, develop a relationship with a trustworthy vintage watch dealer. And uh, another dealer who I really, really like is in Sydney. Sydney Vintage Watch Co. This is the sister store to the Brisbane store. Um, this would have to be one of the longest running vintage watch dealers in Australia. It was formerly Fred Mann, Fred Mann, uh, now called uh, Vintage Watch Co., the Sydney store. They're in the Strand Arcade, and they have magnificent pre-owned stock. They can also keep an eye out for certain models. If you say to them, look, guys, I'm looking for a pre-ceramic sub, they'll keep an eye out for you, and they'll let you know when a good piece of stock comes in. Developing a relationship with a vintage watch dealer is really a key ingredient to having fun in the hobby. Don't try and buy everything eBay, Fleabay, Craigslist, Gumtree. I mean, I mean, those sources are okay, but I highly recommend buying from top-end dealers. I bought my Patek Philippe, my World Time. Where did it come from? Vintage Watch Co. It came from the Sydney store. My uh, Breitling Super Ocean Heritage. Where did that come? That came from Shawnee at European Watch Gallery in Melbourne. I buy a lot of pieces from dealer contacts I know. Start your own relationship with these guys and they will look after you. I'm Archie Luxury. Tell me what you guys think of that.
Hi guys. A fan of mine has been inspired to start a wristwatch series of his own. Bitter Poet Madman. That's the name of his channel. And the show is called It's Complicated. That's right. It's Complicated. It looks like he has some nice examples. I saw he has a Rolex. Rolex! He recently just got an Omega. He talks watch accessories, does reviews, unboxings, and talks about new and pre-owned wristwatches. Again, the channel name is Bitter Poet Madman. Bitter Poet Madman. So why don't you fuckers let that fucker know what you think of that. Bitter Poet Madman Channel. Hey yo, I'm Bitter Poet Madman, the host of It's Complicated, a wristwatch series. We talk about luxury watches. We talk about affordable watches. We're gonna review those watches. We're gonna talk about the watch market in general. I'm gonna tell you how to get good bargains. I'm gonna show you how to find good watches used. I'm gonna show you how to find affordable watches new and how to save money on that grail piece that you're looking at.